Welcome back to Weekend Smile. He captures his subjects with precision. My guest now specializes in portraits. Let's meet visual artist Richard Smith. Welcome to Weekend Smile, Richard. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Nice You're doing to meet great. you. Nice yes. to meet you too. We have some amazing pieces on display here this morning. Of course, we have a lovely model as well. And you're all set and ready to go. But before we start, how did your journey as an artist begin? Well, it began from when, well, from when, since I know, um, I've started drawing from the first day I can hold a pencil, basically. I used to always draw the cartoons in the newspapers, Naruto, um, have competition with my friends. We always try to you know, do all do each other and see who can draw the best. Um, but my journey really actually started as an artist in Fort Farm back at St. Diego High School. I'm a past student now, now teaching there. So um, I sold my first portrait in Fort Farm. Wow. I didn't do art as a subject actually. Um, I chose geo over art. My, my dream was to do piloting, going to en engineering. So I chose the geography over art. But still, I always draw and I always go into the art room and show off, draw and draw persons. So now I sold my first portrait in Fort Farm and that's where I actually realized that I could actually make money from it okay. and become an artist. And he started taking it seriously. I believe it's either mm -hmm. you have it or you don't, right? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, there are some skills that you can train. Others, I mean, not mm -hmm. so much. But were you self, I mean, are you self-taught or no, were you formally trained? Not self-taught because after high school, I did I actually paid for the subject and did it in CXC. Got a two, went on to Edmund for four years. And then after, during Edna Money, I also was doing Student Martin Limited, yeah. which is through Archos, working with a master artist for a number of years in drawing and painting. So it's mostly through the skills, um, learning through him, um, through Student Martin, where I actually developed mo most of the talent. Yeah. And from there, I pursued a career in art. Um, doing a lot of portrait drawings and mural designings. Okay. At Edna, I studied graphics illustration. Um, which, well, my, I love to always do book illustrations. So I do a few of those as well. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, your, your pieces are absolutely beautiful. When, when I came on set, I sat in the chair because I was hoping that I was a model <laughs> this morning, but um, better luck next time. <laughs> but how do you approach, you know, painting a portrait or even drawing a portrait? Do you start with a particular feature or on someone's face every time? Depends on the person. Most times I would start from the the nose and work through the un what's underneath because it's drawing portraits for me it's more than just trying to get a replica of the person okay because drawing a photo or drawing letting the person look like them rather than actually drawing them as in their personality coming out to that people is much more of a difference so most of them must start with the nose okay so we're going to start with her with her and with we remind my name darling Thanks. Thais. Thais. So we're going to start with Thais's nose. Yes. That's what you're going to start with this part. Yes. You, you can start, Richard, while we talk. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so most time you start with the nose, if not, which other, which other uh, part of the face? Um, if so if not the nose, I'll just structure the entire head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, whether well, it's round, oval, I don't know. That's all I think. <laughs> all right, so tell us a little bit about your creative process, Richard. What aspect of your work do you pay particular attention to? So I spend more time trying to get form rather than details in terms of, because for me, the form is really what helps to tell the person. So when I, when I say form, what I mean is uh, the getting the portrait to pop. So okay. when you finish and you look at it, the person is supposed to be jumping out at you. So once I accomplish that, that's really what I'm going for. Okay. For it's the most part. It's so interesting. Viewers, Richard started with straight lines one two three four call it about five or six straight lines you know and he's still drawing those straight lines but i'm gonna let him do his thing <laughs> in the meantime how do you achieve though the lifelike look in your work all with right, all these so straight lines Richard? the, the lifelike feeling though from the portrait okay comes mainly from the lines because before when I use the lines, because I actually use the lines to uh, basically the, the shapes, so the head has shapes, seeing the shadows on the face like shapes, and after which I shade them in. 
Mm -hmm. When you start shading them in, that's where you start seeing you know, that realism afterwards. Okay. So many times I would draw portraits and person would see when I'm, I keep making lines over the drawing and you don't really know exactly what I'm drawing most of the time. But uh, when I start shading, that's where you start seeing everything coming okay. forward. And coming together. And coming together and looking like the person. Okay. What would you say is your most important tool or you know, something that you can't work without in your studio? The charcoal. Okay. Why is that? It's been for me the charcoal. It. I've always been using charcoal actually, because um, I remember even using the coal itself that you used to roast the breadfruit and draw it when I was younger. So for me, it is sort of whole, a more of a sentimental attachment. Um, growing up in the country and seeing the charcoal every day, so I draw with it. Um, so that's one. And also the charcoal sort of uh, bring out a lot more life within the portrait and helps me also to do the portrait very quickly okay. within a certain amount of time. Okay, I see you have a number of portraits of Bob. I mean, is he an inspiration for you? Yes, that's one. I actually, actually got a gold medal for that piece right after high school. I'm, I'm just gonna walk while you while you draw. Yes. This this one right here? Yes, right after high school. So like in 2017, I got a gold medal for that piece. Okay. Um, through JCDC, the first time I did JCDC, I entered a, a piece of Marcus Garvey, which got silver back in fifth form of high school. And then I went on uh, right after graduation and did this piece and got a gold medal Okay. Of Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. So it's basically telling his journey from when he was young, mm -hmm. first recording. Right, right and here. And coming around to his life as a musician. Okay. Yes. Do you name your pieces? Yes, I do. Okay, what's this um, one called? This one, I, do, I didn't give a name for this one at the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, at the time I didn't make a name for this one. All right, tell us about this one here. So this one is actually a commission work of uh, um, a guy and his wife. So I did the portrait of them. Actually, I started it live uh, at an event and then finished it from a photograph, you know. So I'm actually going to deliver, deliver, deliver it to them. So that one was done live, charcoal, within about an hour. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then behind us here, we have another lovely piece. It's, it's very emotive. Tell us about this one. So this piece was done also um, within the period after high school that same year. Um, a portrait of my grandmother. At the time, she had passed. Mm -hmm. So I went on to decide to do a zoom up portrait of her. Sort of focusing on the wrinkles, um, telling her story as a Jamaican and her struggles and hardships. Okay. You know, sort of thing. Okay. Um, actually, during the process, I didn't want to finish it, but I finished it just the same and entered it into JCDC and got a bronze medal. Okay. It seems you draw inspiration from an, a number of different places, whether you know it's, it, the, the pieces have been personally commissioned or you know, it, it's from a personal, like, family experience. Tell us mm -hmm. some other places you draw inspiration from. I draw inspiration as well from uh, real life. Most of the time when I'm traveling, because I travel on the JUTC most times, like, um, Tuesday, like sometimes after work, I would just travel just to sort of um, get some practice. Because most of my, um, mo most of the, inspiration and improvements comes through my practice. So I normally travel with a small sketchbook um, anywhere I go and I would draw persons uh, with here with me as well. Wow. So it's a little book, but when I see somebody, um, can I, can I, I look? But yeah, can I look they can have a look okay. at it. So sometimes they will be sleeping, which is the best time to draw them because they're not really moving. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I draw them very quickly. So sometime before they come up, I give Michelle, them the portrait. You can keep drawing her, you know? Yes. Okay, <laughs> all right. So let me see. I'm, 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 I'm flipping through your, your sketchbook right now. Yes. So we have some sketches right here. And this is just... I did that one yesterday, actually. Okay. Was like this was, was yesterday? He was, he's blind. He was waiting on the bus. Uh-huh. And he needed some guidance in, in terms of where, when the bus, if the bus comes. So I uh, saw so when he got up. And I realized that he was wondering if the bus came already. So I came to him and asked him what bus he's waiting on. He said, 44. 
I said, okay, the father four, don't reach it. I'm going the father six route. But when he reached, I would tell you. So I just quickly draw him while I was talking to him. He didn't know, but you know, that how, was my practice. How long did it take you? Because I don't think that you, you were standing at the bus stop for no. even an hour. It, it took two. me about three minutes, I think. Three minutes? Yeah. Wow. Because after that, the bus came, so about three minutes. This is what you call like insane talent. Oh my goodness. Do you have a favorite piece, Richard? Uh, I do, you know. Um, I think after creating over the years, um, my best species sort of change okay. because I improve a lot. Okay. You know. All right, Richard, how long yeah. are you going to take you to finish this portrait? All right, so we did the next 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay, yes. all right. So we're actually going to, yeah, we're going to show you what, what, what Richard, you know, finish on the other side of the break. Yeah, so more we can <laughs> smile in just a moment. But Richard is going to stay with us, as I mentioned, and continue sketching or model Thais. Richard Smith, ladies and gentlemen, amazing talent. We'll soon come back. <laughs> 